Hey, good day. Today I have my Toro Time Cutter SS3225 engine swap. I was not impressed with the performance of the Lonson engine 452cc. If the deck was on two, two and a half, in thick going, it'd just stall out. So I put on a 19.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton I had laying around. I had to find another oil filter. The oil filter I used is Z4365T. It's a Ryko filter because the original Briggs and Stratton filter went out too far and was too round and would hit right there. And I didn't want to space out the engine because that had put me pulleys out. That was rather easy. And I had to find another exhaust. There's the exhaust there. The exhaust is a Craftsman slash Husvana exhaust. Part number is 137352. Obviously these part numbers would only be good here if you installed a Briggs and Stratton engine. If you installed a Kohler or Kawasaki or one of the others, you'd have to find a remedy for the parts that hit or didn't mix. The wiring harness plugs straight into the original, so no modifications required there. The fuel pump, I had to move the fuel filter down further in the line. But the 19.5 horsepower, I can have this on one now, and it just gets down and works. Doesn't labour, doesn't stall out. And like I said, pretty much plug and play, bar a few things. I think it's a good little mower if you've got tight access. Obviously, if you had to fork out for one of these engines, it'd be a costly exercise. I was lucky to have one laying around, so that didn't cost me much at all. But as you can see, all the original bolt holes line straight up to the engine. Even the original bolts off the Lonson go straight into it. I did have another exhaust off a of John Deere, which did fit sort of but it was hitting on the back plate a little bit i used that until i managed to track down that exhaust which i supplied the part number for that exhaust fits perfectly it's not real quiet it's not as quiet as the lonson but i put that down to the lonson having a massive exhaust i could have cut the exhaust off the other and welded it up but i just didn't feel like it there's your oil filter as I said before, you will need to source another oil filter, three quarter thread. I just went down to my local auto parts store, had a chat with them, and we found one on shelf that fitted perfectly. There's enough clearance for the engine. The original Lonson actually sat back further. There was a bolt on the engine that sat in this cutout here. All in all, I think this should have had this size engine to start with. It would have performed so much better from the factory. I know that they underpower everything today, but some things, if you put a little bit more power on it, the engine doesn't have to work near as hard, which means you're going to get a lot more life out of it. I highly recommend if you have one laying around or you can source one, relatively cheap do the engine swap it's not going to take you that long probably an hour or two by the time you get under there disconnect the drive pulleys belts there's two bolts under there it's a bit of a pain in the ass but once you get the drive belts out of the way you can access them with a long bar on the socket yeah but just thought I'd show you that was my next project I've been working on And you will be amazed at the performance of the machine compared to what it was previously with the Lonson motor. At any rate, that's it for today. Thanks for the time. If you like the video, feel free to sub to the channel and like it. Have a good one. See ya.